becoming a confident public speaker takes time. Uh, it's, but again, it's not, not a lot of time, but two, two parts to it. First of all, you want to understand the tools. You know, a great public speaking is made out of tools, it's made out of messaging, it's made out of rhetorical techniques, it's made out of sounding confident even when you aren't confident. Um, and these things you can learn, it's not, that, it's not that hard. But the second part is practice. You've got to feel comfortable with these things, even if they might be a bit exaggerated or a bit strange, if you, when you feel confident and you look confident using them. So do those two things, learn the tools, practice using the tools and like that you can become a very confident public speaker. It's an interesting question what makes a really good public speaker. They stand out don't they? You know, we all remember them, we know immediately uh, that they're a good public speaker. They have a sort of authenticity about them, they have a very clear message but more than that they know how to use language, they, they, they say things very memorably and compellingly they become irrefutable, they tell you stories, it's the perfect package and more importantly of all, we like them, so we believe them. The journey to becoming a confident public speaker can seem pretty tricky. The secret though is small changes all the time. So what we're often doing when we feed back and respond to what we hear with clients is we're suggesting small changes that they can make which will put them into a virtuous circle of improvement and over the next five, ten presentations they give really transform the way that they interact with their audience.